In this tutorial, you are going to get an overview of what is Norton Ghost and what the program can be used for. This tutorial is going to be based on the 15.0 version of the system. The one we are using here is the trial version, but this tutorial will also apply if you have the full version of the program. Norton Ghost essentially allows you to create a clone of your computer system so that if you have a problem, you can go back to this cloned version of your system. It is essentially a complete backup solution that will allow you to remove all problems except for those that are hardware-based, such as a hard disk failure. From the home screen of the program, which we have open here, you will see a system status indication of how at risk your computer is. This status is going to depend on if you have made a backup and if you did when you last made it. A good place to start with this program is using the Define Backup Wizard link, which will allow you to create a restore point for your system. Click this link in the program. A window will open and you can see several options. Here we are leaving the default settings as they are, as this is a good standard backup for the computer. You are going to need a backup destination, which will usually be a second hard drive in your machine or an external disk. Here we are using a second hard drive, which has been selected in the bottom box. Click Browse if you want to select a different destination. Here we are just leaving it on the default setting, so we will click OK. A dialog box will appear, and you can either choose to run the backup on a schedule or do it now. For this tutorial, we will select Now and click OK. Another window will appear, and you need to wait for this process to complete. It can take some time depending on the amount of data you need to back up as well as the speed of your computer. Once this process has completed, you will be told that a backup has been made successfully. Click Close. You now have created a clone of your system, and that is essentially what Norton Ghost is for. Naturally, the second part of Norton Ghost is going to be the restoration of the computer from an existing backup. This process can be completed by clicking the Recovery option in the top right and then selecting a recovery choice. You then need to simply click Recover Now and follow the steps. As this is just a tutorial, we are not going to proceed with this now, but you now know what is Norton Ghost and how the program is used to set recovery points on your computer.